Mexico. Mayo even visited a gun range and worked on her aim. And earlier in the day, the disturbed young woman purchased ammunition. Angela walks into the plant and before their shift even begins, she whips out her gun and shoots to kill. Shanina now has three bullets in her face. And when wow. the alleged bully hits the ground, Angela stands over her body and mm. shoots some more. Finish then the she makes a run for it. Hours later, Angela turns herself. Yeah. Whoa. Yo, YouTube town family, what's the biz? Y'all already know what it is, man. Positive vibes always, all days. You know how I'm rocking, and you know ain't nothing to it but to do it. So we about to get right into it. I hope everybody feeling well out there today. As always, I want to send out that positive vibration to you guys, to my town family. And I really do appreciate everybody for tuning in to Todd Town for another one. And if you haven't already, please hit that like, share, subscribe button and notification so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest content okay because you don't want to miss out anywho without further ado welcome to Todd Town 48.6 million Americans have experienced workplace bullying. Victims suffer from increased stress, anxiety, and even depression. Some may resort to isolation and self-harm, but sometimes they take matters into their own hands and retaliate in ways no one could have imagined. This is the story of Angela Nicole Mayo. The setting for this outrageous story is Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Never heard of it? I had neither. It's more of a college town because it's home to the University of Alabama. Naturally, there is a thriving nightlife, according to residents. The weather is a little capricious, but more importantly, it has one of the highest crime rates in America compared to all communities of all sizes. And on Sunday, August 4th, 2019, Shanina Smith would become a statistic. Angela Mayo is a woman on a mission. She's got a little surprise for a co-worker. For eight whole months, her life was made a living hell by a woman named Shanina Smith. The two work at Lear Corporation, an industrial plant where they assemble car seats. It's not a dream job by any means. The hours are long, the work is fast paced and repetitive, but it pays the bills. Angela is on the quiet side. She often sits alone and rarely socializes with her coworkers. I didn't find any reports that suggest that she was being rude or standoffish. Angela may have just enjoyed her own company, but her reluctance to engage with others is just one of the reasons that she is a target for bullying. It's been my experience that abusive people are under the assumption that those that are reserved are less likely to stand up for themselves or they fear confrontation and that makes them ideal for harassment. This hits home for me and others. There are so many YouTube videos where women of color, black women in particular, claim that because they're not living up to the outgoing, sassy, loud, outdated stereotype, they feel ostracized and generally misunderstood at work. Even celebrities like self this this got to be just a woman thing. And I'm not trying to like single you guys out. I mean, of course you hear what she's saying, but I don't know. That's I, I, I didn't know it was that bad, honestly. Like I know we got forms of bullying and things like that, but I'm going to be honest with you. When I think of adults and work, th that's that's all I think about is adults and work and I think it's just that simple you go to work you do your you do your hours and you go home so anytime I hear about drama on a work at, at a workplace or you know bullying and I'm like yo how old are we like we not in you know high school and you know it, it trips me out so I know it's there but <laughs> and I'll be honest with you it's always with women most of the time, if I ever hear any cases about it, but man, I don't know. Yeah, it's a women thing for sure. Men, we 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 just know how to, you know, what I mean, go to work, work, and we go home to our family. Like I, I've, it's been, I, I, you know, in my times of working in the field, I've never really had an issue with guys, no matter what I've done, you know, no matter what I was into. 
I think the only time I had that issue was in the streets. Honestly. And I mean, that's that was the game. So it wasn't unusual. But as I, you know, got into working and stuff like that and just business and stuff, you know, guys, man, we do what we gotta do, bro. We don't have we don't be with all that drama. You know what I mean? Like and it's sad that the women got to go through Proclaimed socially anxious, Summer Walker has complained about feeling like she's confined to certain attributes that she doesn't identify with because of her race. This is a real thing. I guess black women are always supposed to be an open book. If you aren't accessible, then you're snooty or weird. Aside mm. from Angela's demeanor, the 27-year-old's sexual orientation may have also been a point of contention at Lear. Alabama is one of the most socially conservative states by far. Those who support same-sex marriage are greatly outnumbered by those who oppose. And from 1992 to 2021, sexual health educators were instructed to basically condemn homosexuality under the no promo homo law. I was curious about the environment at Lear, and it's alleged that it's an over... And just so y'all could read that. Overall, unorganized, hostile, and corrupt place to work. That makes perfect sense to me. Bullying usually is condoned in those sorts of settings. Although it's rumored that Shanina was not the only one who mistreated Angela. She was especially miffed with the young mother because she was consistently nasty to Angela. Shanina would poke fun of her for not working as fast as she could. And all of this took place in front of others. So not only was she berated, but there was an audience to witness it. Mm. Bullies want you to feel as though you're less than. They also want and others I bet to feel did the same. You all know how about it. female aggression is nowhere near as overt as men, but it's just as detrimental and humiliating to the victim. The gossiping, veiled insults, snickering behind your back, or just plain icing you out, it's torture. When Shanina brushes past Angela one day at work, that's the final straw. She's had just about enough. Let me provide a little bit of context here. Life hasn't been easy for the young woman, and this situation with Shanina is taking her back to a very dark place. Angela is on medication so that she can grapple with PTSD. Her disorder stems from a sexual assault and rape earlier in her life. So when Shanina brushes past her, it's a major violation. Angela's under the warped presumption that her life is now in danger. According mm. to contributors for helpguide.org, Melinda See, Smith- and this is this is in, in general why you don't fuck with people. Excuse my language for, for my viewers. Uh, we all adults here, but this is why, this is why you just leave people alone. You know what I'm saying? I ain't leave people alone. Like it's not that hard, bro. You never know what somebody going through. You never know they. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it, you don't know what's gonna push up somebody over that breaking point. You don't never know, man. That's why it's just best to just mind your business and leave somebody alone. You know, and ultimately, like you, you know. The people who do always have what's coming. And I don't ever, like, I'm not going to agree with, you know, uh, the uh, unaliving of, of anyone for any matter, especially if we can find a different uh, a alternate, you know, alternate way to, to handle things. But Again, when you play certain games, man, one thing about life is you have to understand, you know, the decisions that you make, you know, and I don't I don't think a lot of people think that clearly. I, I've been through a lot of things to where I'm at the point now where it's like you have to think things through. And that, that goes for just, you know, why? Why, why are you bothering her? Because they say she was quiet. She was to herself. That is crazy. And that gave you the right to be like, you know what, huh? And Jean Siegel, physical touch is a trigger for some victims of assault. Traumatic events can like cause naturally. the nervous system to become stuck in a perpetual state of high alert, hypersensitive to stimuli. Angela sets a plan in motion to seek retribution. Shanina won't be bothering her or anyone else for much longer. Look, she see, is you don't know what somebody's going through. 
Angela's nemesis, Shanina, is on her way to the plant. She had just finished watching some TV with her mother, Regina. Before she heads out, her mom tells her to take care of herself. Shanina replies, I'll see you in the morning, Ma. It's the last time that she would be seen alive. Angela is sitting on ready as she makes her way to Lear Corp. A few days ago, Mayo even visited a gun range and worked on her aim. And earlier in the day, the disturbed young woman purchased ammunition. Angela walks into the plant and before their shift even begins, she whips out her gun and shoots to kill. Shanina now has three bullets in her face. And when wow. the alleged bully hits the ground, Angela stands over her body and mm. shoots some more. Finished then the she makes a run for it. Hours later, Angela turns herself into police. She looks embarrassed as she's taken to the county jail mm -hmm. where she'll be booked on a $150,000 Shanina is pronounced dead at the scene. She dies just a few days short of her that son's fourth tragic, birthday. Man. That's crazy. Mayo claims she was bullied by the victim at work, something Shanina Smith's family says is not true. It's just a hurting feeling. I didn't know it would hurt me this bad to see that my baby go, but it's a hurting feeling that someone else took her life and it wasn't even time for her yet. But it does a pain that some will never go away. Shanina's mother's unwillingness to believe that her daughter deliberately inflicted pain on Angela is understandable. No one wants to believe that their child is an a-hole. The reality is that mm. Shanina had another side to her, like we all do. People come in layers, not cardboard cutouts. She may have been a loving fiance, a well-mannered daughter, and an attentive mother, but Angela is adamant that Shanina was a nightmare at work. Shanina's social media post illustrates a happy go lucky woman in someone who possesses a certain level of confidence or was a conceit. In one post, she states that she's been on and some opponent has been caught. In another, she boasts, you don't have to tell me that God took his time. I know. Seems innocent enough, but according to Angela, Shanina had mean girl energy in the workplace. The incident obviously I mean, but they, if that was in fact true, like she said, I believe in the beginning that people witnessed it. So... Yeah, and we all know, you know, you can p portray to be one one person and, and be somewhere completely different. I know so many people that play two ways. That's why I keep to myself. You know what I'm saying? So she looked like a beautiful young lady. Uh, and, you know, just from the surface, it don't seem like she got bullying vibes. But I tell you, boy, you can't never judge a book by its cover. And be the ones. You know what I mean? The ones you can't, you know what I mean? So who knows? But it seemed like she was, uh, they said she was, they, it was witnesses to the bullying on the work, on the work scene. So, you know, I, it's unfortunate. I know the family don't. And of course, you never, like, like it, it's no different than like, I, you know, I compare it to like coming up, running the streets. And, you know, when you out there with your, with your, with your boys, when we doing stuff, our parents ain't got, we, we know again so well they'll never find out because we won't tell them. And we gonna make sure of that. Like, you know what I mean? When we come home, we good boy. You know I mean, yeah, I was that old school. You know, when we leave the house, we banging. That's how it was. So, <laughs> you know, and you think that they know what's really going on. Every time you talking to your parents, you trying to make things seem sweet. You trying to make things seem so like, yeah, man, they, knowing in the back of your head, you dealing with, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I hope that. So, I mean, I'm not. It is what it is. Employees at Lear. Six unfortunate souls actually witnessed Shanina's murder. Lear Corp issued a statement the following day. We have been in contact with Shanina's family and our hearts Six and prayers are with them that. on this truly tragic day. Additionally, we have engaged professional grief counselors who are now on site and will remain as long as it takes to provide services to any employees who are in need. After the shooting, Lear Corp implemented round-the-clock security, and I'm sure that everyone on the premises were relieved to know that something like this may not be likely to ever happen again. No one should feel anxious on their way to work. The following year, Mayo was sent to Bryce Hospital because she was deemed incompetent to mm. assist in her defense. She would be released a year later on Tuesday, March 9, 2021. On May 10th, 2021, Angela is now 30 years old and deemed competent enough to stand trial. Emotions are still running incredibly high. Shanina's family is sporting vibrant colored t-shirts with various images of her. They want Angela to pay for what she did. And the only sentence that seems fair is life behind bars. 
prosecutors are on the same page, but Mayo's attorney pushes Judge James H. Roberts Jr. for 20 years instead. Angela's past trauma is used as an excuse to justify her actions. The judge sentences Angela to 50 years in prison, and Regina is not a happy camper. And I still love her always. I want in life. Because she killed my daughter. I just went her to hell life with that parole. Her mom looks beautiful, no beautiful too. I mean, you see the, the family. They got some good genes. They all look around. good. That's, that's On Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021, Regina files like a, a nice wrongful death lawsuit against Lear Corp. She's seeking $10 million. Angela may have felt vindicated when she took Shamina's mm. life, but I seriously doubt that that's the case now. She's going to be an old woman when she walks out of prison. Was it really worth it? And Shanina greatly underestimated the impact her work would have on her victim. The whole situation could have been handled differently. Angela could have reported her grievances to a supervisor. Maybe she would have worked in a different area or she could have found another job altogether. But let's not forget, she was unstable and unstable people don't make the best decisions. I guess the moral of the story is politically incorrect, but I'm going to say it anyways. Don't be a bully. You might F around and find out. Man, listen, and that is the truth okay uh rp to uh the lady that lost her life and um you know you gotta hold your head up to the one who got locked up um don't be a bully i think that is the message right there that's simple as that man i don't know you know that's unfortunate uh and i i'm not a hey, one thing about me is I ain't never like a bully. I actually stood up for that, you know what I mean? And back in the, you know, if I seen it going on, I was going to step in. And then, and then at the end of the day, it gave me a reason to fight too. So I used to like to fight after a certain while once I got, once I, you know, got out there like that. But that was an excuse for me to fight a lot of times, which is just kind of sticking up for people that was being bullied. I ain't never like a bully. I I don't get the point of bullying. I don't. I ain't never had it in my soul to bully somebody in no way, shit, for no reason. You know, I ain't never had hatred in my heart like that. You know, I think that comes from something inside. You, 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 you got problems within you, you know, not loving yourself, which ultimately I feel like that's what most of the problems stem from nowadays. But bullying is not something um, I was uh, kind with, you know what I mean? So... Even to this day, I don't, I don't, I don't think nothing of it. Like I don't, you know, I don't condone it. Um, and these are adults here at the, at the, at that. That's what's even, like I say, you, I would expect to hear something like that, you know, going on and happening, like you know, with a younger generation or crowd, just because I know how immature minds work, right? But you talking about? I think she was. 30 at the age it happened or some something like she, she was a full grown adult i can't blame her you know medical issues say she got ptsd um definitely could have been some things that could have been done different like they said but again when you're dealing with somebody unstable it's their world uh it's what they want to do um so yeah man uh that's unfortunate. That's a crazy one right there, man. That's that is cuz you don't think about that, right? You leaving to go to work, you tell telling your mom, your grandma's and goodbye. And then the next thing you know, they got to get a call to find out that you got gunned down at work or before you even got good up in there. And hearing the story that she's claiming that, you know, again, that's unfortunate, man. Anywho, uh Yo, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Another one, Ty Town. Y'all already know, man, how we rocking good vibes, positivity over here, man. Another great one, man. If you haven't already, hit that like, share, subscribe button, notifications so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest content. And again, it was fun. I want to thank everybody. And until next time, peace. Yeah. Whoa. Thank you.